I love art so much. More than, more than when I'm, if I say this or that, but I don't know how to express myself to art. It's like art is inside me. Oh, I, my name, yeah, 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 my name is uh, Samper Sambu and uh, I'm a Gambian, living and working in the Gambia and I have loved art uh, since I was a boy. I started making art at a very early age, so I created art all my life and I believe it was as a result of my environment, the culture in which I live and I grew up in that rich culture. I was born in an environment where my, my whole family is an artist. My mother used to sing and my brother was a painter. So I was inspired by both of them. I do my artwork because I want to send messages to people. And then uh, these are messages that I felt people should know and they should understand. My friends, some of them are doctors, some of them are lawyers. Some of them, you know, do other work. But for me, art is my life. I believe art could serve as a vehicle for socioeconomic development. Um, like this piece behind me, okay, is something that is motivational, I could say. I believe there are so many things that could be done in, 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 in Africa as a whole. But I think the light is too strong for many young people to see the opportunities. My name is Adam Ajaja, the founder of Violence Against Girls. I am 29 years old. I do tie and dye and batik. The things that I serve, that is what I give to my people who are helping me feed my family, pay a house rent and other things. It's very, very hard. But it's something that I love, that's why I don't quit. I am still moving on. To be an artist, especially female artists in the country here, was very difficult for me at my younger age. And I've been very creative and it was very difficult for me to really um, show out my creativity. It is very hard to be an artist here, but you have to be strong. If you are not strong, you cannot survive. Many people don't know in Gambia, there's in, there are artists inside. There are many artists. They think just maybe one artist or two. There are plenty of artists. Plenty, plenty. Just we need support. Because Gambian people they don't know art very well. Yeah, they like it, but they don't know the value of art. I felt that most Gambians, um, they think art is something that is for less privileged people. Sometimes they think the art is for people who are dull, who are not clever. So like, for example, if I say I'm an art teacher, you know, see me as a small teacher. <laughs> so they don't really know the value. This building actually was housing the art room where we used to do the practicals and also the um, educating the children. Yeah, this has been the previous room where we used to work. We had a lot of paintings here all over the world before. And uh, we had pictures here drawn by students, examples of uh, artworks, different types. Children train here to work with wood. They study wood. 
and uh, create things that are useful in the community. And this are also generate skills and generate income for them, those who cannot go to university or so. Sometimes a child will come to the college here and he will ask him to do art. He say, no, my father say, let me not do art. Education is important, but more so, art education is more important than any other subject in the world, to me. The importance of arts cannot be overemphasized for the fact that, contrary to some people, especially in the Gambian society, I see art as a multidisciplinary subject. No matter which field they are, those with good art background, those who can draw, those who are creative, those who can think independently, they excel more. Life, life is all about creativity, the, the problems, you know, economic, social, name it, comes together. You know, art is culture. And, and if you love your culture, culture, of course you love your art. The traditional art is, is our brand, it's our brand. And that is what we need to explore and exploit. That is what we need to package and sell. It's why so many things are now being involved, artists are now involved to make so that they promote and sell the image of the country. In some areas well, art is not valued, especially when I talk about the system, the school system. That's the problem of the Gambia. The British never, never built uh, an art school here. You have an art school in Senegal, in Guinea-Bissau, in all the countries, except Gambia. The problem is we don't have a formal art program at the University of the Gambia, which is the highest institution of learning. Uh, I'm finally a political science student in the University of the Gambia, our university. But uh, you see, I chose political science by default because there is no uh, course that regards art or design in the university. So I was forced to choose, to choose political science by default. When it comes to art education in the Gambia, is to look at the art curriculum. To look at it, because the one that we are using, you know, has been there for so many years. Some of the things we are learning here, these basic forms, these are not our level. We should have learned them since at the, at the primary level. Um, the, the, the level that the art should go, it should be beyond, honestly, this level. Because when I was teaching, the materials were not forthcoming. There, there are no art materials for, for art students. They don't have it. Before you get to the resources, you know, the, the problem lies on what? On the value of the, the, you know, the, the art. We have to start from the grassroots if we want to uh, make art something. For now, we don't have it at the lower basics level as a, for, as a, as a real subject. So we need to really have it there. We used to say in the Gambia here that uh, English is the language of mathematics. Because if you don't understand English, you can hardly excel in mathematics. But I want to say that art is also the language of all the subjects. Because uh, art education, if you study art education carefully, you will know how human being become human being. It is through art that you will know what are you going to specialize in future. This is why art education is very important, particularly uh, in the Gambia. All the fields need creative thinking. All the fields need that uh, freedom that art gives you as a background. Let the government give us a platform to come out to showcase what we have every year. Let's make it a festival, something fixed that people will come outside and see what the young Gambians are doing. But with arts, we can develop the country. We can change the design of the country. The future is uh, the young generation, young artists, because us, the time is gone already. Just we need to feature the young artists. So I'm 
urging all the Gambian children, especially Gambian students, everybody try to study art. Become aware of the beauty of nature and beauty of making things and creating things out of nothing. I used to tell them, bring the rice bag that your mother used, empty rice bag, bring it. They used to bring it and I said, let's cut it. You can make a doormat out of that. You can create from plastic bags. You can create from all garbages, rubbishes and all what. So you don't need material. If you are creative, you can do anything. And if you want to be an artist, you have to push it. Yeah, you have to push it, don't discourage it. Don't, uh, if you don't have material, also don't discourage it, just go. Never give up. You have to climb the stairs. It will take time. But just feel I'm doing something and forget about everything and focus directly in what you're doing, then you will be there one fine day. I remember um, Joseph Boyce, he said this many years ago, that everybody is an artist. And if young people have the urge to art, is to start practicing art, to look for mentorship and to read and to experiment. That's where it all lies.